Hello guys, today we will be making a Germany guide. So let's begin with the political power choices you should make. The first po political power goes to the free trade. And then you can, you should, after the BBA changes, go for Franz Aldash immediately, as that's a lot of XP. After that, you should go for Schacht. And then you should go take Goebbels. And after that, go war economy. Then you would, as uh, you gain air XP from Spain, you would like to take independent air force and take Göring for 25 PP. After that, you should try to save some political power for Japan, sending attaché to Japan, and you should send an attaché to Japan. But before that, you can you should also train your navy, starting navy a bit. And after you get 35 XP, you should take flexible contracts and take raiding fleet designer. After that, you should take you go get, send attaché to Japan. Then you would want to get the which one was that Walter Funk, war industrialist. Then you would like to take Messer Schmidt, light aircraft designer. And also uh, some tank designers upon what you want to do. It depends on what you are planning to do with your tank. But it usually people go for hand shell. I go for bomb because I like soft attack. But as I said, it depends on your choices. Both are great. All three are great. And after that, you might want to swap free trade back to limited exports, then you, might, you may want to go extensive conscription. After that, you go for Heinz Guderian. Then you try to at least take Ferdinand Schörner before Poland war begins. Then you can either go for Erwin Rommel immediately, which is what I... By the way, also before taking the infantry export this one, you should try to save political powers for going to, uh, when war begins, total mobilization. And obviously the women in the workforce, which together cost around 250 political powers. So after that, as I said, you would want to try to get the infantry experts, armor genius, and after getting Prince of Terror, Heinrich Himmler, you may want to go for army regrouping too, and after that it depends on wh what you want to do. You have way too much XP, uh, PP for as uh, Germany, so that you can do anything you want. And uh, by the way, before war, I would recommend you to go anti-democratic and anti-communist state once, because it also it gives stability both from popularity and from itself, as it uh, if you multiply the weekly stability with 120 days, you get more stability than minus 10. So, when it comes to the army XP spent and the spirit corps, I would like to first say that as you, as soon as you gain 35 XP, you go state service to military, so that you can bypass Martin Bormann, as it will give you more political power actually, because you don't spend 150 to take it. And after that, with the twenty, you go political loyalty for stability. Then, I would recommend you to you should also rush the uh, import small airframes. So I would recommend you to after taking Göring, take independent, uh, take industrial li liaisons, and use that to research the import small airframe faster. And you should also rush engines three, in my opinion, when you have the chance. As that is also crucial, and you need to research this at some point too, obviously. So when it comes to uh, national focus order, you take Rhineland first, and then it depends on if you want to like use your tech bonuses for later text, you can take naval rearmament and then take for your plan. But I usually just go for your plan, and after for your plan, Otarki, Hermann Göring Racket, EDF Wagen, extra research slot. Then you go for army innovations, treat with your SSR to get the tank bonus, and with that tank bonus, you should immediately start searching for the medium. And after that, 
with the fog process. You may want to go to Anschluss depending on the uh, word tension. If it is high enough, you can just immediately go for all these four after the, these things I said. But if it is not high enough, I will recommend you to spend some 70 days in cold depression before going to Anschluss. Then after Anschluss, you go to Demand Sudetenland, first Vienna Award, State of Czechoslovakia, then Army Innovation 2, obviously. After that, if you didn't take cold liquidization, cold liquidization, synthetic rubbish, re reassert Eastern claims, anti no, not anti compton pact, Molotov Ribbentrop pact, and then the Gold War, which will be the historical date for the beginning of World War II. After that, I recommend you to go around the major not. Then, uh, actually, it depends, like, there isn't much you can do with the focus tree of Germany at the moment. So, it depends on the priorities you have after that point. When it comes to the uh, templates I use, let me just get these so that I can show you it better. So you get this one and you get this one. The infantry template I always use with Germany is basically this. 9-1 with support engineer, artillery, logics, logistics, anti-air and anti-tank. This is usually good for a good as an all-around division template as it has hard attack to delay the offensive of the enemy tanks at least a little bit. And if you like get the 41-ish tech or 42-ish tech, you pierce glass cannons and if you get 43, you actually can pierce the medium tanks with 43 tank with only support anti-tank you can pierce 42 with medium tanks advanced medium that uh, stacked armor and the other things i want to say to you is are when it comes to tanks let's for poland you usually don't have enough mechanized for france too so what you would like to do is create a 20 width with motorized like four motorized and three medium tanks logistics company and obviously and three tank destroyers let me just create a tank destroyer real quick too So this should be enough to defeat the Poland and France as the onset of uh, in the war, in the onset of the war. But for Barbarossa, as you take often up the uh, mechanized, what I would recommend you to do is a 42 bit, and you should also, by, by the way, get the engineer two at least, and three is much better. You should first try to rush the engineer uh, three. What you can do is create a flamethrower, support flamethrower to gain attack bonuses, especially in forest, which they have a lot. And this is the template I recommend you to use for Soviet Union. So this is the template I recommend you to use. So you, I'm opening so you can see it for more longer. And when it comes to research, it is crucial to, uh, as I said, get these two. It is also important to stay up to date in this. And I would recommend you to go this as you get better radios and coordination, which is nice. You want to get used, uh, in my opinion, for your plan research bonuses to rush construction tree and after that you can ignore construction it is important to rush the tanks anti-tank tanks most important part of the artillery branch as i said with support companies you should go for engineers and logistics 
it is good to rush the 39 artillery and infantry equipment as they are it basically boosts your infantry by 50 percent and before Barbarossa it might make sense to go for this Panzer Force at least with armor tech you should uh, research these two and 14 gym and that's it stop there with naval you can ignore naval research completely but if you are gonna do research this technology and 40 submarine and 40 snorkel will help you a lot and these are all the technology ideas I, sh I want to, to tell you so uh, let's come to the designs with designs you may want to make something like it obviously the designer Mr. Designer. So this is in my opinion the best temp, uh, fighter you can use in the game. If you disagree, let me know in the comments. And for cast, you can also make a basic design of just three bomb blocks. And instead of one armor plate, you put die breaks as it doesn't hurt your range and this is good for tests for the rest of the game with doctrine I for air doctrine I would recommend you to go fight race initiative and take airborne heroes they are combined really strong uh, and with land doctrine you should obviously go right right and you should actually get to around at least camp group before the onset of war with, uh, you can ignore these two, but if after the war starts, when you have enough PP, go for Caldonis, obviously. It's nice to have. You should also try to, as I said, get these three. And when it comes to intelligence agency, you should immediately start building an intelligence agency in the start of the war, because you need to take, you need to send three collapse on French and one on false. Upgrades doesn't matter, it depends on what you want to do. Cryptology is nice, passive defense is obviously important. Uh, but you should basically create an agent from the beginning and get the second operator and start doing collapse on France first and then Poland from the beginning. When it comes to construction, I usually try to hit 62 to 64 civilians or upwards of like uh, 65 around 65 in military area is nice and after that you should start building mills and this 65 is by the way not including Austria or Czechoslovakia with but including these two focuses after that you should start building mills you should not build dockyards any dockyards at all and uh, at some point you should build three refineries in all these four and build more refineries as you need more uh, rubber and oil and that is how you go for when it comes to the production you may want to immediately build a one in civilian trains and stay with that for the rest of the game and two for anti-air and after that you should try to balance out the other things you can just delete the light tank if uh, sending uh, tanks to the Spain is not allowed. You can, you should basically put two on mediums and do something like this. Um, so minus six is enough. Don't, you not, you don't need to import trouble for this. And something like this should be, as I said, enough. And you put the other two in another in anything you want. More support company in the beginning of the game makes sense actually. With naval doctrine, you obviously need to just get those, and you can also get night fighting if that's quite nice. The nighttime attack and minus visibility, and convoy warfare too to get sea war fleet faster or into the aggression. It depends on what you want, it, but they are both good. And after these things, there are not actually much to say for multiplayer. 
So you should try to make an encirclement with tanks over here, with pushes like this, another encirclement over here, and another encirclement over here. With Netherlands, you can immediately make them surrender by rushing Amsterdam. Then with Belgium, you should put some tanks over here and some over here and try to encircle this part, the Antwerp versus Leuven part. And after you capture them, they should surrender too. And France, you can micro France pretty easily. Defeat by micro in France pretty easily. Then after you defeat France, you need to immediately create the collaboration government as you will have at least 90 collab uh, compliance on France because of the collaborations you did you at some point also want to take Denmark Norway is dependent on whether you want that or not I usually ignore Norway but you can go for it obviously when you take Yugoslavia, Greece you can, you should Put, try to put some pressure with Italy on LLM because otherwise Japan would get obliterated by allies and you sh Romania, Bulgaria, Hungary will also be in access in multiplayer obviously and when it comes to Barbarossa that is the time the game starts to uh, the divergence from this usual setup begins so I can't make guides up for Barbarossa uh, you should act according to the developing situation at, at that after that point. So thanks for watching. I hope I didn't miss anything to say. Uh, like I don't, I don't think that I missed on anything. And as I said, thanks for and you, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and please like and subscribe if you like the content and want more of that. See you soon.